Hello children. Today we are going to learn chapter number 10 in your Oxford Reading Circle book 2. This chapter is named The Rooks. Now what are rooks children? Yeah? This is a rook. Now you can see a rook on the screen. So it is a black bird. It's a larger black bird. Right? A rook is a black bird. So this is a poem written by Jane Euphemia Brown. So I will recite this poem one time. Please listen and then we will all recite together. The Rooks by Jane Euphemia Brown The rooks are building on the trees. They build there every spring. Caw, caw is all they say, for none of them can sing. They are up before the break of day and up till late at night. For they must labour busily as long as it is light. And many a crooked stick they bring and many a slender twig. And many a tuft of moss until their nests are round and big. Caw, caw, oh what a noise they make in rainy weather. Good children always speak by turns, but rooks all talk together. It's a nice poem, isn't it? Yes? Okay, now I think you enjoyed the poem. This poem is about uh, rooks, right? Uh, how they build their nests, how they shout, right? And what do they do? How do they build their nests with what? Right, we are going to learn all these things. So we will read it one more time. The Rooks by Jane Euphemia Brown The rooks are building on the trees. They build there every spring. Caw, caw is all they say, for none of them can sing. They are up before the break of day and up till late at night. For they must labour busily as long as it is light. And many a crooked stick they bring, and many a slender twig, and many a tuft of moss, until their nests are round and big. Caw! Caw! Oh, what a noise they make in rainy weather! Good children always speak by turns, but rooks all talk together. Okay, now children, let's move on to the first one and then discuss one by one. Okay, this time we will read, trying to understand the uh, meanings also this, at the same time. The Rooks by Jane Euphemia Brown The rooks are building on the trees. They build there every spring. Caw, caw is all they say, for none of them can sing. Now here children, these birds are building nests on the trees. Right? Where do they build their uh, nests? On the trees. I want everybody to answer. And in which period do they build? Which, during which season do they build their nests? Is it during the summer, winter, autumn or spring? In which season do they start building? Every spring. Very good. Spring is the season where the snow starts melting and um, the sun starts 
rising right so this is the time where summer starts to begin like that summer starts with the spring and by this time these birds start building their nests and what is their sound children what is their sound what do they say caw caw yes can they sing can these birds sing no they can't sing right it is a very unpleasant noise actually these rooks are making this caw caw sound it is not a very uh, pleasant singing uh, tone of a bird right they can't sing and let's go to the next one they're up before the break of day that means they are waking up early in the morning right before the day breaks that means before the sun rises and before the day starts they wake up and what do they do from early morning till late at night now see they are up till late at night what do they do till late at night they build their nests why because they have to finish building the nests uh, fast as long as it is light now when the light is there they have to quickly finish uh, their building but even though it says like this they say and they are up till late at night as well right they wake up early in the morning and they work busily what do you mean by labor busily labor means working putting effort right um and now these birds they have to work very hard from early morning till late at night to build their nests and many a crooked stick they bring now these are the now in this stanza they are showing you what sort of things they gather to build their nests now and many a crooked stick they bring crooked stick what do you mean by crooked that means not straight they are like curvy curvy sticks usually when you pick sticks from the trees they are usually not straight right so they bring a lot of a lot of crooked sticks and many a slender twigs right they bring twigs as well slender means very thin and many a tuft of moss now tuft is a group term uh, for moss grass etc right you when you say tuft of grass that means a collection of a bunch of grass a tuft of moss a collection of moss what do you mean by moss that green velvety looking uh, plants growing in wet areas right so they bring moss they bring twigs they bring uh, sticks right now you can see a rook's nest in the picture here you can see the twigs and sticks right until their nests are round and big now they these rooks build big nests which are round in shape and let's go to the last stanza caw caw oh what a noise that is a, as i told you earlier these rooks have a very unpleasant sound and when they all uh, caw together right that is a very um, loud and unpleasant noise to hear right and when do they make this noise the most children in what sort of a weather in in rainy weather now when the rainy weather comes they start cawing really louder right good children always speak by turns but rooks all talk together now the uh, one habit of these birds is that they don't take turns like y'all do right whenever you want to talk you say excuse me and everybody speaks in turn but rooks these birds they are not like that they all talk together it's a very loud noise that you can't um, really bear and it's very unpleasant right so do good children shout like the uh, rooks children do you shout like this all together when somebody else is speaking do you speak like that no we do not do that we speak by turns when some when your friend is finished talking only you start and when you are done with your speaking and the other child starts like that you always speak by turns 
right now we are not going to be like rooks okay now this time we are all going to recite the poem shall we all start uh, reciting everybody please recite with me let's start the rooks by jane euphemia brown The rooks are building on the trees. They build there every spring. Caw, caw is all they say, for none of them can sing. They're up before the break of day and up till late at night, for they must labor busily as long as it is light. And many a crooked stick they bring, and many a slender twig, and many a tuft of moss, until their nests are round and big. Caw, caw, oh what a noise they make in rainy weather. Good children always speak by turns, but rooks all talk together. Did you all understand what we meant by the poem, children? Did you understand? Yes? Okay, now we are going to uh, do the exercises. Right? Okay, let's, let's see who can answer the questions. Exercise A. We have to read these words aloud. Now you can see the CH letter pattern. The, the, the CH letters are highlighted here. And in each word we are going to see what is the sound that this combination makes. Let's read after me. The first one is children. The second one is cord. The third word here is ache. And the fourth word here is choir. Now the first word makes a ch sound. The second one makes a k sound. Third one and fourth one are also making a k sound. Let's read further. Chip. Chair. Cheer. And cheese. Ah, all these letters have the ch sound. The ch letters make ch sound. Let's read the last three. Chase, machine, chef. Now in this one it is making a ch sound. But the last two words machine and chef they make a sh sound. Let's read again. Machine. Chef. Chef. Okay. Now you saw there are three sounds possible with this letter combination. What are the three sounds, children? Ch, k, and sh. I will read these words again for you. Please listen carefully and pronounce, pronounce properly. Children, cord, ache, choir, chip, chair, cheer, cheese, chase, machine and chef. Well done. Now we are moving to exercise B. We have a few questions. Let's see if you can answer the following. Number one. What are the rooks doing in the trees? What are the rooks doing in the trees? Very good. What are they doing children? They are building nests. Yes, they are building nests in the trees. That's what they are doing in the trees. Question number two. Is it summertime? No, it is spring. Yes, in the first stanza it says 
uh, they are they have started building nests because it is spring okay the third question do the rooks build their nests at night also yes when do they build their nests? They build their nests from early morning till late at night. So, do they build uh, at night as well? Yes or no? Yes, very good. Because in the first, uh, the second stanza, it says they are they are they start at the break of day and then they work till late at night right they work till late at night but why do they start early in the morning because they want to get the maximum out of the daylight when you can see you can build better when it's the night time you can't see properly right so the crows sorry these rooks also they want to build as much as they could so they work till late at night as well very good the fourth question what do the rooks build their nests with? What are the things they use to build their nests? Yes? Very good. They use sticks and twigs and what else? You can look at the poem in the book and moss. Very good. Now these rooks build their nests with crooked sticks, slender twigs and tuft of moss. They use these things to build their nests with. Right? What are the things they are using again? Let, me, let, uh, let us all read. They build their nests with crooked sticks, slender twigs and tuft of moss. Tuft is a group term. It is a word used for group uh, to identify a lot of grass, a lot of moss, right? Okay. Let's move on to the fifth question. What do the rooks do in rainy weather? When it is the rainy time, what do they do? Yes? They start cawing louder, right? That is in the last stanza. They caw and make a lot of noise in the rainy weather, right? Let's move on to the sixth one. How are children different from rooks? What is the difference between the rooks and the children? Yes. Very good. The children, they speak in turns. But rooks, they speak all together. Rooks talk all together. But children speak in turns. They always take their turns to speak. Right? They don't shout uh, here and there. Whenever it's not their turn, they don't shout. But rooks, on the other hand, they all shout together. So, those who are listening to them, uh, they can all hear it as a very unpleasant loud noise. Right? Okay, now that is, uh, that was the last question in exercise B. Now, we are moving on to exercise C. We have to add Y or L-Y to these words to make new words. Now, you are going to make mostly adjectives or adverbs, right? Describing words by adding these. So, you have to be careful. Why? Because you may have to add or take away a letter in some words. There are some spelling rules that are going to apply for certain words. Okay, let's see. Night. Which combination are we going to add? Is it just Y or L-Y? And what is the word that is going to come after adding uh, this one? What do you think? 
Yes? What is it going to be? Yes? Okay. Yes, nightly. Yes, nightly. Now we have a word called nighty as well. Right. So uh, I took this one nightly. Let's move in on to the second one. Sad. What is the word you can make? Very good. Sadly. Very good. C. Busy. Busily. Ah, did you see? We had to change the Y into I and add L Y. The next one. Crooked. Crookedly. Yes, some of these words we have to add L Y. Some of the words will be just added with just Y. Okay. Now let's read again. Night, nightly. Sad, sadly. Busy, busily. Crooked, crookedly. Next one. Noise. Noisy or noisily. You have two words. Next one. Rain. Rainy. Next one. Late. Lately. Very good. Lately. Friend. Friendly. Friendly. Next one. Bend. Bendy. Bendy. Right? Air. Airy. Airy. Fine. Finely. Finely. Fox. Foxy. Very good. We have a few more. Bone. Bony. Chat. Chatty. Here you can see the last consonant is doubled because there is a vowel in front. Next one, dust. Dusty. Dusty. Bush. Bushy. Very good. Well done. Now children, we are going to uh, the second question in the exercise C. We have to find the odd one out. Now we have a few words here. Head, arm, heel, tail and palm. Which one is the odd one? Who can tell me? Which one is the odd one here? Now think of humans. Yes, we have a head, we have arms, we have heels and we have palms. But do we have tails? No, this is the odd one out in the first group of words. Let's move on to the second one. Christmas, birthday, Diwali, Eid and Durga Puja. Which one is the odd one? Very good. Birthday, why did you say that? The others are all uh, national or international holidays where all of them celebrate together. But do we celebrate all our birthdays on one day? No, we have different days to celebrate our birthdays. Yes, so birthday is not a special international or national holiday. Right? The last one. Lantern, torch, lamp. Candle and cycle. Which one is the odd one? Yes, it's a cycle. Why? The other four are um, giving light. Those are uh, tools for um, lighter place, right? But cycle is not. Very good. Now we are moving on to the third section of exercise C. What are the ch words here? Let's see if you can understand. Not poor. 
it gives you a ch word. What is it? Not poor. If you look at your book, you can see the word with blanks. What is it? Rich. Very good. Not poor means rich. Number two. Not a little. Another ch word with four letters. What is this one? Much. Very good. Yes, much. Not a little means much. Next one. Not an adult. This one is a ch word with five letters. What is this? Child. Very good. Child. Not an adult. is a child. Last one. This is an item that gives light. Very good. Torch. The answer is torch. Well done. Now we are moving on to exercise D. If rooks caw, what sounds do other animals make? Make a list of animals and the noises they make. Who can tell me a few? I will show you some animals. You all tell me which sound they make. Dog. Dogs bark. So what, what is the sound they make? Bow wow or woof. Right? This is the sound they make. Cat. Cats? Meow. Yes, they make the sound meow. Okay? Right. How about a horse? What is the sound a horse makes? Nay. Yes. How about a sheep? They say bah. Yes, bah. Now we say, we call the sheep bleat, right? Well, sheep bleat, and the sound is bah. Okay. How about a cow, children? Cow, moose. Yes, and a duck quacks. Yes, quack, 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 quack. That is the sound. How about a bird? Tweet, 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 tweet. Yes, birds. You can say birds chirp or birds tweet. Okay. How about a bee, children? Bee, bees, buzz. Yeah? They make the z sound. Okay. How about a pig? Yes, a pig grunts, right? right? It says oink, oink. That is the pig's sound. A pig grunts. Very good. And how about a donkey? Yes, a donkey brays. And what is the sound? e -a -a. Something like that. Yes? And how about a snake? What sound uh, do snakes make? They hiss. Yes. Sound. Yeah, very good. And finally, hence, cluck, 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 like that cluck, a hen clucks. Now I have taken only a few sounds. You can add a lot of other animal sounds to your list when you start writing. Okay, right. Now let's move on to the next question. Find out the names of three birds that live on or near water. Who can tell me a few? Now I have actually prepared a lot of birds to show you. Can you give me a few examples? Water birds? Ducks, very good. What else? Swans, very good. Geese, what else? Cranes. Flamingos, wow, very good. You are telling me. Pelicans, very good. Let's go and see one by one. This is a duck. It mostly lives in water. It's a goose. Flamingo. 
pelican kingfisher kingfishers always hunt for fish in the water and this one is a gray heron we have a swan and a crane see all these are water birds now we are going to find out the names of three birds that are very large can somebody tell me what is the largest bird children that is the ostrich very good what are the other comparatively larger birds cassowary very good what else emu <laughs> very good very good i got correct answers from you such a clever class see ostrich cassowary and emu these three are the comparatively largest birds when you talk about the entire species of birds very good now i'm going to ask you another question can you name three birds that are the most colorful peacocks are colorful yes what else uh huh you, you think cockatoos are colorful okay yes there are parrots that are colorful uh huh lovebirds okay what else you think kingfishers are very colorful okay okay ah uh, let me see i have picked out three birds that are extremely beautiful this one is a mandarin duck it is very colorful mandarin duck yes and the next one is a golden pheasant this is a golden pheasant and we have a peacock this one is well known in sri lanka but the other two i don't think you have seen and we have macaws yeah they are also very colorful and the last question find out the names of three birds that sing sweetly what are the birds that sing very sweetly uh huh hummingbird what is a very famous bird that sings like in a, in your story books also you mentioned this bird that is the nightingale okay now we will hear this is a nightingale do you want to hear nightingale sound okay let's listen to this one this is a nightingale singing Okay, that was the nightingale. And as the second uh, bird, we have chosen the Asian quail. Now, when it's the Aurudu season in Sri Lanka, we have heard this bird uh, singing. Now, let's hear that bird sound.
That was the Asian quail. Okay. And the last bird I've picked is the canary bird. Let's hear how the canaries sing. Yes, now that was a canary singing. Okay, so uh, there are so many other birds who are capable of singing very nicely and sweetly. But I have chosen these three. Okay, now uh, we will wrap up by reading the poem one more time. The Rooks by Jane Euphemia Brown the rooks are building on the trees. They build there every spring. Caw, caw is all they say, for none of them can sing. They are up before the break of day and up till late at night. For they must labor busily as long as it is light. And many a crooked stick they bring and many a slender twig, and many a tuft of moss, until their nests are round and big. Caw, caw, oh what a noise they make in rainy weather. Good children always speak by turns, but rooks all talk together. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, children. Well done.